Hello! Today you're going to understand the power of editor and how it can help your newsroom become 10x more productive. We're going to use our hypothetical newsroom called Politora that deals in news from all around the world. This is editor's homepage and on the left you see we have all of our news sources organized in folders based on the different teams we have at Politora. I press on the news source and I can see the articles of that news source. For example, here we have the articles of BBC World section and on the right side we see the summary of the article. We can press on this button to see the article itself or go to the original URL. I can add any news source by simply clicking the add button, going to feeds, typing in the URL and simply pressing follow. The source will appear in the bottom of my folders and I can drag it in any of my folders. If I find the story I would like to reproduce, I simply click draft, choose one of my agents and the agent will start drafting for me. I can see my drafts on my draft section. Here, I have instructed the agent to give me three versions of the article, five suggestions for titles and meta descriptions and five Instagram captions. I like this medium length version, so I'm going to copy paste it on my WordPress admin. I'm going to choose this title, paste it, and this description, which I'm going to add as an excerpt and meta description. The only thing missing is the image, but I have instructed another agent to create an image for me so that I can download it and upload it as part of my article. I now set the appropriate categories and tags and press publish so my readers can read my article. However, I want to post about this in social media as well because I think it will resonate with my audience. I have instructed another agent to create a social media draft for me that I can download and then post in Instagram. When it comes to a caption, I'll go back to my text agent and copy paste my favorite caption from here. This is the core functionality of editor and how you can turn any news story into an article and a social media post within a couple of seconds. However, it doesn't stop there because you can customize editor to suit whatever your particular brand needs. Here we have the agents tab where we can see and edit all of our agents. For example, this English reproduce agent that we used previously, we can change the prompt of the agent and add instructions and examples of how we want our articles to be written. We currently support two types of agents, text agents and media agents. Let's create a text agent that writes articles in Spanish. We give it a name and we press create. Here, it automatically creates one prompt which we can rename to article. We will then change the prompt to write an article in Spanish. At the end of the prompt, we always have to reference the article in itself in brackets so that it will be replaced with the original article content. So for example, if we don't have that, it will not allow us to save the agent. Let's see our Spanish agent in action. I don't really like that this is such a long article. What I can do is I can come to our edit prompts feature here, restructure the prompt and tell the agent to write it in 200 words and press rerun. This is our smart edit prompt feature, which is very useful on iterating on prompts and enhancing them. When you finish iterating, you just press save and you're ready to go. Let's now see our most powerful feature, which is the media agents. Let's go back to our agents and let's create a new media agent. You can choose from existing templates or you can create a brand new template based on your needs. Here, let's create an Instagram story template. We're going to have an image as a background. We're going to add the mask so that we emphasize the text. We're going to add the main copy and we are going to add our logo at the top. We want our logo to stay the same on every draft. So we're going to name it static. When we save our media, our agent will be created and prompts will also be created based on the input fields we added on our template. For the main copy, I wanted it to be 250 characters, so I will change the prompt. 
let's rename the agent to Insta Story and let's see it in action. I'll go back to my home and apply it on the story. Here on the draft section, I see the output of the agent and I can do multiple things. I don't like this copy because it's a bit elevated, so I will change its position and press save. Second, I feel like the copy itself is a bit dry, so I will press on the edit prompts and I will change the prompt in order to make it a bit larger and more colorful. Then I will change the prompt of my image in order to fit my needs and press rerun. All of those changes I do will be applicable to my other drafts as well. This is the power of editor and you can try it for free now at editor.to.